Welcome back everybody, I'm Zinkaku. This is another unboxing as from the title you already know. However, here it is. This is the Razer Mamba. Um, this is the wireless edition, it's not the tournament edition. Uh, I'm just going to quickly swap to manual focus. There you go. Because it wasn't doing so well at focusing on there. But there you go. Um, quickly show you the outer box. Just showing you about the technology obviously it's wireless but you can use a cord for it but we'll explain that soon just explain about the technology it's 16,000 dpi adjustable click force technology and um, dual gaming so you can either do wireless or wired and the world's most advanced gaming mouse so running into the actual box itself instead of the wording that's on it we're just going to crack it open uh, which is on the side here the Razer has started doing this a lot recently with um, mice and headsets where it's just like you release the seals here and at the top and then it just opens up like a book like a book you've got the um, welcome to Razer and more about the chroma because um, this is obviously a chroma mouse as well uh, let's oh I wasn't expecting that that just slides out of there. Nice box. Nice presentation. Oh, I was really expecting <laughs> like leaflets and everything to start falling out of here. So that's quite nice. I'm just going to quickly seal that up. Move that off to the side. There we go. And uh, this is the actual box itself. So I'm not sure. There is no other sealants on it. It just opens up. It's quite hefty. It's quite heavy just for this because it's got thick pad in there. Uh, enough about that. Um, you got your congratulations, no turning back. Signed by Mainline Tan, uh, which is just printed on there. Um, but obviously, like, follow, subscribe to all the social media. And just explaining a bit about um, the mentality or the business of Razer, etc. Uh, here we actually have the mouse within the box, which is oh, got a nice little film over the top, and we got Welcome to the Cult of Razor. I think this is pretty traditional, where you've just got oh, it's actually a quick starter guide. You can see here, uh, just focus again. There you go. So we've got the quick starter guide here. Just saying, plug it in. Put your mouse on, charge it. Uh, you got an on and off switch there, and um, get Razor signups from the razorzone.com slash signups. Good luck, have fun. Pretty basic, pretty uh, common sense as well. Um, you got the manual for the device. Just goes into a bit more detail of all the functionality. So I'll be doing another segment of the video where I actually go into depth about not the book itself, but I'll show you basically the same thing the book's telling you, but um, referencing the mouse in real time. I'll stick the camera next to my uh, desk, show you the mouse in action while um, you can see me interacting with the desktop and the application. Um, so yeah, it's just basically got some stuff in here about how to configure it use it, what the normal functions are, what to expect, etc. All that good stuff. Anyway, so here we have the charging dock as explicitly told there by the nice, clean, crisp text. Um, it'll be interesting to see how this works because um, obviously it's got a little grid there. You can see that against the uh, background. Kind of sticks out. So I'm guessing all that needs to do is make some sort of contact with it to charge. It's not like the mouse actually has an indent. That'd be really weird. Uh, you have the cable for charging uh, your mouse or just connecting via cable. Because it is a wireless mouse, but what I didn't know is that um, you could use this mouse as either wired or wireless. So this here designed to go into the mouse yeah. uh, but also 
it, uh, I think this is also designed to go into the docking station, which it is. So the docking station and the mouse have the same design. Uh, so we just slip that in there, you can see that just sticking out a little bit. But that is it, fully connected. It does, like I say, stick out a little bit. But if you don't want to use it for wired gaming, and you want to use wireless, you can connect it like so. This end obviously plugs into your PC, and uh, that's a wireless gaming mouse. And this, the badass mouse, will connect to that. This little, um, it's like also your wireless receiver. It's not just a charging dock. I think this is part of your wireless receiving um, because there is no dongle. What's this? What is this? That's interesting. We'll check that in a second. Uh, the rest of this is all just foam. Yeah, 100% foam. So we'll just put these... Actually, you know what? We'll put these back in the case because... Actually, I need this one. Uh, and put the rest of it back in the case to keep it as original as possible. There we go. I'll just put that off there. And uh, so yeah, that is the gaming mouse, hand-wise, it's about the same size as my Death Adder, which is the mouse I was primarily using. You've got your, um, actually, you've got forward, uh, back, forward, you've got two extra buttons here, which I've only seen on the Naga. The Naga has these, but the Death Adder doesn't. But this has both the side, like the Death Adder, and the top one, so... Bonus buttons, yay! Never knew that. Finding out lots of things about this mouse. Um, you can see just to the right of the scroll wheel. There, yep. Yeah. That is additional button. So you can push it to the left, that's a click. Push it to the right, that's a click. Left click, right click, you know, normal mouse stuff. Um, and obviously the scroll wheel. This is Chroma. So, this light here, and this light here, will light up chroma, just like my keyboard, my mouse mat, and my headset. And also the mouse wheel, you can see that there, it's got the light there. So, that all lights up, interacts with that, you can see that it is perfectly flat. So, like I said, um, ah, so, this indent here is designed for this. So that makes sense. So it clasps on and makes full contact. There you go. Try not to drop it. But as you can see, I'm angling this quite a lot and it's not dropping off. So it's pretty sturdy on there. It's definitely not moving. Um, and you can just, at the end of your day of gaming, just stick it on there. It will charge. And I think the dock, yep, there you go. The dock has surrounding lights as well, very nice. So when you charge it, you can get it. Obviously, we'll have a look at the software in a second. You got your on and off button, uh, your charging sensor. Not too sure what these are, I think these might be weights. Or no, no this is click control, so um, how hard you have to push before it clicks. Very customizable. More than I actually expected, so that is um, quite shocking. <laughs> well, not shocking, I say. But I did see this little pouch in there, in the box. I had a little slit down it, and I had this little pouch in. I have no idea what this is, so I'm just going to take that out. And there you go. It's like a little key to adjust your... There you go. So it's a little key to adjust your um, click settings. Uh, if you want it to be more sensitive, or if you want it to be that you have to... So, if you can imagine, you have to put a lot of force on the button to click, or if you want it to be really sensitive that if your finger's not down on it in any way whatsoever, it's not going to click. But if you put even a little bit of pressure on, it clicks. Obviously, I can't uh, explain that without modifying it. I don't want to play around with it from its default settings at the moment. But that's generally it. There's not really much else to show about the unboxing itself. Um, there you go, that is the Razer Mamba. Uh, we will now switch over to 
the desk side, which I'll plug this into my computer, get all the drivers downloaded. Once I've done that, we will show you the um, we'll show you the software in action while you can see me using the mouse, which obviously you have um, a couple of things. You have the the mouse, you have the Firefly, you have the Razer. Um, I can't remember what the name of the keyboard is, but I've got the Razer Chroma keyboard as well. Uh, not Tournament Edition, obviously Tournament Edition on this is fully um, cabled, it's not wireless, doesn't have a wireless option. Um, and the non-Tournament Edition is wireless. Uh, and that's it, obviously you won't see the Razer um, cracking Chroma, which I also have, which is um, Chroma again, so this is complete set. I already had a complete set, but obviously I've got this mouse now, so happy days! Anyway, let's switch over to the desk side. Okay, now we're at my desktop. As you can see, we've got the devices laid out here. This here, which you can see going up and down, is the charging device. Like I explained, um, when I did the unboxing, you can see the white bit. That's the lights, so it's pretty cool when it's hovering, but you can't make it hover, so putting it down. Uh, the mouse clicks on like this, there you go, and you can see it goes red and it pulses as it's charging. I think it also controls the level, I'm not sure, I'd need to double check on that, maybe I'll leave a comment down below. Um, but I think the way it works is, you can see it proceeds from about halfway. We'll check this when we get in the application to see how much charge the mouse has. Um, but one thing I've noticed so far with the mouse is that, well one, it's light. Okay, it's ever so slightly heavier than this one here. This one is the Razer Death Adder Chroma and this is obviously the Razer Mamba um, which is 16,000 dpi but the logo doesn't light up on this, um, which is, I think it would have been better if the logo lit up just like the one next to it. Um, obviously it's nice with the strips down the side, uh, which this does is exactly the same, but we'll get into that in a second. Um, looking at the software, oh, hold on, so that dock's on there, let's, uh, <laughs> let's uh, fail like plugging it in. I did this so perfectly the first time, and now it's not. I just can't figure it out. Okay, whatever. Come on, there you go, connecting. Um, so it's on there, it's pretty solid. See what I mean? Uh, it's pretty solid. Um, but obviously I can take this out, I haven't tried this yet, but taking it out and plugging it into the mouse just makes it a mouse with a cable. So I never knew this um, when I first seen this mouse, so I kind of wasn't interested because normally I don't go for gaming mice that uh, are wireless, but this obviously allows you to have the same kind of functionality. You can see my mouse moving around. Um, so either or, just unplug that again, plug that back into the unit, instantly lights up, drivers start working, happy days. But the mouse always works at all times. Uh, switch on the bottom obviously turns it off and on. Um, but one thing you'll notice in comparison to the Death Adder Chroma is uh, one lot brighter. 100%. It's more like this is just using a bulb on it. I know that's not the case but these seem like they're using a lot brighter LEDs. Um, I mean this in comparison to the pad, uh, this is a mouse pad, I um, can't remember what the name it is, uh, the Firefly sorry, uh, the Razer Firefly is obviously quite bright but this one again being a newer product also seems a lot brighter. Uh, keyboard it's just generally bright and this isn't even the brightest setting but we'll go into the software so we can have a look at that. Uh, so we've got the Razer, where is the Razer, there it is. Okay, so here we have the Razer products. These are um, 
This is a Death Adder Chroma, so what you can see is you've got customized performance, lighting, and calibration. We're not going to go into too much about that. Uh, however, we've got customized performance, lighting, calibration, and power. So you've got an extra, so that is right, 49% uh, when I was talking about the battery level. Um, and this is going from around about halfway. So that might actually be true. Um, so this might f uh, show its battery level on the side, um, which is quite nice. Nice feature. Very nice feature. Um, click and power here. Uh, you can set up different settings. We'll start from here. Uh, you can enter sleep mode after three minutes. It doesn't actually tell you. It just gives you a figure. It just says three. What, three hours? Three minutes? Three seconds? <laughs> What's the idle time? Um, but I'm presuming it's going to be three minutes, logically. Uh, you can't disable this by the looks of it. you either got one minute, you got 15 minutes, or you got anywhere in between. So three minutes is fine for me. Um, for it to go to sleep. I mean, generally, if you're playing a game, you're going to be using the mouse actively. Uh, can't really imagine many games that you wouldn't be using the mouse on a PC. Uh, you've got blink control. Um, so basically, this middle mouse, uh, I can't even show you what an example this is because I'm at 49% for battery and uh, the highest you could set it is 25%. So when this gets to 25%, I've set it to flash red. So this mouse wheel will start flashing red to indicate to me without having stupid pop-ups coming up down here uh, that um, my mouse is starting to get a bit low. So I might either want to uh, change a mouse or just plug the, see the handy thing is I could just unplug this and plug it straight into the mouse and there's no end to the gaming, um, which is very handy. So um, the other thing we've got is calibration. So, I'm not sure how I enable this. I don't even know why this is here. Available only on wired mode. Okay. So, on wired mode, um, you get to set up calibration. Uh, but I can show you that with the mouse brief, uh, mouse map briefly. No, nope, not even. Because, uh, come on. There we go. Um, so, Razer Death Adder Chroma has the same kind of thing where you can turn it on, select the mat. Uh, the absolutely ingenious thing is, although it's a razor mat, this, it doesn't actually have Firefly as a configuration, so I don't know what's up with that, it's weird, obviously I can select and then choose this and then you can calibrate it, but yeah, anyway, it doesn't really matter. Um, moving back to the razor Mamba. Yep, we're back on it. We've got lighting. The lighting in comparison to this mouse is very different for options. Um, so if we just have a quick glance in here, you will see that you've got quite a few options that are different between the two mice. Um, this one, you can choose direction in the lights. So you can make it start from here and move this way. So you see the red come in and it pushes up this way. Uh, and obviously, the other setting is you change it and make it go the other way. Uh, this is applicable to most Razer devices. Um, so I can set breathing where you can see the mouse and the dock are breathing uh, set to green. So if I do all of it, they're all in sync and they breathe together. This one's actually set up a bit different. I think I've set the mouse wheel to permanently be on. And I'm pretty sure I might be able to do that for this as well. So you go into Chroma configuration. This isn't actually available for the Death Adder Chroma. However, you've got left strip, which is obviously on the left side. Right strip on the right side. Um, and scroll wheel. So you can set up individual. So if I wanted this to do pulsing colors, uh, so let's, let's hold. Okay. Oh my God. This is so customizable. <laughs> I just noticed. Right. So basically I can hold control and I can even set like this. Um, right. Hold on. Why don't we, can I just like select this? Okay. So we can select, say these here. Wow. This is amazing. Um, and then we can add, no, 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 no. We can add uh, spectrum cycling and then apply. 
So you can see the ends are breathing green. And I have done, so uh, the camera just turned off because I've been recording for a certain amount of time and it has like a timer on it. I think it's like 10 minutes or something. But anyway, um, going over this, I was just explaining we've got the uh, green parts here are pulsing or breathing, whatever settings I can set. And I can set individual settings for all the different parts that strip, which is pretty fracking cool, if, uh, if I do say so myself. Um, so we're going to turn off spectrum cycle and we're going to just just get rid of this. We don't need this right now. Uh, don't apply, cancel. No, uh, I don't want to. Don't apply. There we go. So we're back to... Nope, we're not. I'm going to change it off custom and I'm going to set wave. So you can see waves going back to cycling the colors again. Um, if I click this button, it's going to then put that over all the devices. The only thing about the uh, Razer headset, the Razer headset doesn't do in the same manner as this does, it doesn't cycle as fast. Also the Razer Death Adder Chroma doesn't do um, the wave function. These two don't do wave. Uh, the rest as you can see already do. Um, but you have wave, you got spectrum cycling. So it's just going to cycle through all the colors. Um, they'll all be in sync with each other so then it moves from pink to orange to then yellow and all that malarkey um, let's see what else we've got we've got reactive uh, which I can set so you can see I'm pressing my keyboard the keys light up um, but if I click my mouse my whole mouse mat lights up when I'm clicking my mouse. So I'm clicking the mouse, but the mouse mat and charging dock react um, while I'm obviously gaming away on the keyboard. Uh, you also have, I think that's basically it. You've got static, see, it's basic, whatever. Uh, just choose a color. You know, you got, you got blue for Senkaku. Um, the thing is, you can see here, it's maybe a bit dull. But there is actually a brightness mode for this, so you can go super bright, which just makes it brighter. Obviously, I'm using a crap color to indicate uh, how bright this is. So if we go back to wave, is it wave? Yeah, go wave. So you can see wave here doing its thing. Um, you've got dim, so you can make it really dim. It's barely even visible. Uh, you got normal, which is just standard lighting, and you got uh, bright for the brightest light you can get, and that's basically it for the lighting performance. Again, this is a, a sixteen hundred, uh, sixteen thousand DPI mouse. Um, it has two buttons on the side for back and forward. I found out these buttons on top default um, setting is. DPI. So you can see the increasing DPI. You can see it goes absolutely mental. You've got high resolution. I mean, I've set this for 1080p for recording purposes, um, but this monitor is capable of um, 2K resolution. So there you go. It's a bit high for me at the moment, so I set it. See, the thing is, having a high DPI mouse and setting it to low DPI settings, you can get a lot better ac accuracy. Um, which I tend to go for. Uh, other than that, you've got polling rates, acceleration, which generally I don't use. Uh, moving on from that, customization, which is just setting all these keys. Um, like I said, you got uh, number three. What's number three? Scroll click, which is pressing down. You've got left, right click, standard, scroll up and down, scroll left, and scroll right. That's uh, very handy. And... Um, that's your sensitivity stages, but obviously you can change that to other options as well. Uh, other than that, you also got the side view to configure the two side buttons. And that's basically it for the software. Obviously, it's part of the Razer family, um, which pretty much all my devices are. Um, I don't know what I've done to settings to make it all kind of not so bright anymore. Um, oh, there you go. I don't know why this one's so dark now. Um, but that's 
basically it. That's the Chroma family. That's the Razor Mamba. Uh, not the Tournament Edition. Tournament Edition is just pretty much the same. Uh, it's going to be the same software wise, but the only thing is you won't get the wireless feature. It's just um, wired. So basically, this is the Razor Mamba. And this, my dear friends, is the Razor Mamba Tournament Edition. So there you go. So you can go with that if that's what you so wish. Tournament edition, you get a cable. But if you get the Razor Mamba, you get the both of best of both worlds, to which you can um, have the base for your wireless gaming. There you go. Back to its original brightness. The only thing I could say is I might have liked the logo to light up, but it doesn't. I'm still happy with it. It's good stuff. Uh, just go back to the Mamba. Um, and it's all happy days. It says it's charging, but it's not. <laughs> but it's not even on the bay. So that is generally it with that mouse. I am going to end this episode here. Tell me what you think in the comments down below. Um, leave a like if you enjoyed this video. And uh, I will put links at the top of the video um, for a couple of other Razer devices if you want to check out this keyboard. Uh, I don't think I've actually done an unboxing of this mouse mat, or I have, but I haven't um, edited it yet, so I'm really lazy in that sense. But uh, I've done this mouse, I've done the headset, I've done the keyboard, and I've now done the Razer Mamba. Um, check these videos out, they'll be up above in annotations, and I'll stick them in the uh, description below. Uh, and that's it. So for me, I'm going to head off now. Leave a like, comment down below, subscribe if you haven't done so already. For me, Sakaku, thank you all for watching. And until next time, ciao for now.